What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com Don't forget to stop by Studio1Tutorials, pick up your premium membership, it is 50 cents a day And also please, don't forget to stop by CMP Kits It's where you could get samples like the one you're hearing right now And the one we're going to be chopping up in this video um, Don't forget to hit me up on IG, it's the quickest way to get a response, I'm on there all day and today what i want to do is bring something to your attention today we're going to be looking at what is in my opinion the best sampler especially for people who use compositions and um and uh compositions loop packs and the like so if we go into um, arcade, right? Typically, people who use arcade they go they go into it and they're and they're looking, um, you know, constantly at the uh, all of the all of the included arcade lines from their sign, sound desires, and those are great, those are fun. But they, what I find a lot of times when I recommend arcade to people, they're like, man, you know, that just it doesn't uh, it doesn't really fit my taste. It's not really what my style is, and it it's kind of strange because it's it, it's such a powerful sampler, and I like using it so much. And then, um, you know, ta uh, talking to um, you know, talking to MG, um, he kind of brought it to my attention. He's like, man, you know, we should be should be dragging our own stuff in there. Like that's like that's what people want to do anyway. I was like, I don't know why I never thought of that. So it's really easy. Uh, what I did is I'm what I'm getting ready to play you, right? So, so I'm gonna show you exactly what you can do. What I'm getting ready to play you is this is this is the composition that I led with, right? And all I did was I took, it, you know, I took my stems, right? This is the best way to use sample pack stems. Like this is the best way. So all you got to do is drag a stem any file onto one of those keys, right? And then, you know, go inside here and you can, and, and you can make your edits and what have you. Um, this, uh, this, this arrow, all it, you know, all I do is just, is just add different starting points like you would like, uh, you know, like you would on any sampler that you use. Right. Um, but the great thing about it is you can have, you can have all these diff different samples in different places and then you utilize the, um, you know, the, the effects that they have up here, uh, the built, the built-in effects that the built-in effects that are on the mixer, um, you know, these, di these different sends and what have you, and you can even, and you can even like dig deeper and program the macros. So I went from, I, I, w I went from that, from this composition here. And I was able to quickly, and I'm talking about quickly, turn it into this in arcade. And then add the drums. Oh, hold on. Let's just add the mastering chain real quick. And then, you know, if I, you know, if I wanted to switch it up, it's, you know, I could just, I could just have this idea and this is the great thing about this workflow, right? You can, you can just have, um, access to, to so many different, so many different ideas, right? I could just take this, bring this back and say, all right, what if I just wanted to get rid of these and I just wanted to, I just wanted to like do a breakdown with the pad. <laughs> And then if I just wanted to maybe do some different styles of chops down here, right?
and then add the different saxophone maybe. And you see how quick you can just like, I, I mean, you know, in under 10 minutes, you can have, you can have a dope beat with just custom variation. And then if you have if you have parts, you know, that you need to clean up or whatever, it's super easy to do. You could just go into you could just go into arcade, find the key, again, go to edit. Adjust the, you know, adjust the start and end points accordingly. Find the different parts in your chops, but super easy, super simple. And I'm definitely going to be showcasing a lot more of this because um, you know, when I when I see the flips coming back from from folks and you know, seeing, you know, cause I'm always, I'm always watching what you guys do. Right. And just, and just seeing what's going on. I always notice, I'm like, man, nobody, nobody really digs into the stems, man. There's, there's a lot of good stuff in there and you can, um, and, uh, you, you know, you could just, you could just rearrange it so well. And with something, with something like arcade, I mean, if you've got, you, you know, if you've got anybody's stems, you got Kingsway stems or you got, um, you know, my stems, you got MG stems, uh, you got 607 stems. You know, you know what I mean? Like you could, you could take those and just, you know, just drag them on to, you just drag them onto here. And it's the same thing. It's the same exact thing as what you're getting from the arcade sound designers. But now you can utilize all those packs that you've been collecting. And maybe you just use the composition and looped it. You can give them a brand new life inside of arcade. So this is CMP with Craft Master Productions Studio One Tutorials.com. You guys keep it simple. Visit CMP Kits. Get yourself some stems. Put them in arcades. Chop them, flip them, rub them down. You guys keep it simple, but do not be basic. And we'll see you on the next one.